Hi, this is Kerry Artek with Wicked Stocks, bringing you the daily Tesla report for Friday, December 1st, 2023. But before I walk you through the charts, as usual, just want to encourage you to please click like if you haven't already. Subscribe to the Wicked Stocks YouTube channel. Share the content, if you would, with friends and colleagues. And check out WickedStocks.com, where we offer a full suite of both daily and weekly analytical videos just like this one. Daily analysis in the SPY and the Triple Q, that is the S&P 500 and NASDAQ 100 ETFs. Weekly analysis in the S&P 500 index, the NASDAQ 100 index, the long bond ETF, the TLT, as well as two individual stock picks a week that you never see on YouTube. That is eight a month that cater to the three to five week swing trader out to the three to five month near term investor. We're always looking for at least 20% moves on those stock picks. And you can check out all of this for no cost for five days. We offer a five-day free trial up front with a WickedStocks.com subscription. So sign up for WickedStocks.com. Check it all out. If you don't like what you see within five days, you can cancel your subscription at no cost to you whatsoever. On with the charts. I'm going to jump right to this chart here. Uh, and, you know, we go back uh, a couple, almost three weeks, when we closed above this descending one-third speed line. Uh, that was formed in part when we've put out the late October low. We were anticipating uh, the mid to lower 170s, as you recall, as an objective. That didn't happen. And what th then did happen is we rallied up to the one-third speed line. It held for the better part of a week before we closed above it. Closing above that speed line did set up a three to five week buy signal into what is now 259.61 to 265.22, a band of channel resistance that remains in reach over the next two weeks or so above this channel bottom at 232.59. So I'll continue with this analysis, this illustration, uh, and this is a kind of a carryover actually from Thursday, and that is to say the 242.84 able to contain session strength. I like 282. Uh, I'm sorry, 242.84 because it's also in line with the low of the high that was put out on Wednesday. And so it can contain session strength. Keep in mind, though, uh, that we are bullish, uh, still expecting the 259.61 to 265.22 area over the next several weeks, once again, above this 207.96 speed line. And uh, more importantly, near-term support at 232.59 can absorb selling through next week. And once tested over the next couple of weeks, we can push into this targeted zone between 259.61 and 265.22. Uh, in the immediate vicinity, we do have 237.12, not shown anywhere, but it can contain intraday weakness. If we break 237.12 today, 232.59 is likely where once again a buy opportunity presents, not only for day traders, not only for three to five day swing traders, uh, but also uh, I would call it like a one to two week time horizon. I don't think it'll take two to three weeks. I do think if we test 232.59 today over the next two full weeks, we should reach into the upper 250s, low 260s. Um, and that, that is really uh, the dynamic here uh, if we're looking at support uh, near term at 232.59. Uh, upside today, if we push or open above 242.84, uh, we can test this channel top. Despite the fact that it, di it didn't hold on Wednesday, we pushed through it and fell off of it. It is still a valid resistance area that can absorb buying pressures um, you know, on an intraday, possibly remainder of the day basis. So once again, if we push through 242.84, the 25140 formation is in reach today. And once again, if we close today above 24284, I don't think we're going to see 23259 over the next day or two because that is still the expectation below 24284. But rather, I see that there is the possibility by the end of next week, over the next full week of activity, we can continue on up into this 25961 to 26512 or 22 region. I also say that if we close today above 25140, and I, that's a bit of a long shot, but merely above 252. I keep saying 252, uh, closing above 242.84. Uh, there's no good reason to be short Tesla if we close above 242.84 if your time horizon is, you know, three to five days, uh, because I do think by the end of next week, we can test 265.22. And certainly if we close today above 
which is a long shot, I think within a matter of two to three days, we should push into this zone. Where, I might add, profits can be taken on a long position you may have established uh, several weeks ago when we closed above 207.96. I was mentioning 260, 265 out of the money calls that didn't expire for at least a couple of months at that time. If you're still long those out of the money calls, this is the zone to take profits and once tested, I was mentioning this yesterday, there is going to be some variation of this channel bottom at 208.86. So, you know, if we push over the next week or two into the 260s, 259.61 to 265.22, that is your opportunity to take profits. Uh, I'm assuming that you may have bought those 265 out of the money calls to take profits on that acquisition and in turn to perhaps reach for 210 or 215 out of the money puts. 215 or 220 out of the money puts. This formation will be a little higher because it'll be based on highs that are beyond this present high from Wednesday. Uh, but nonetheless, I think it'll be in the 210s or 220s, this base of channel support, that if we test the 260s, you might reach for a 220 out of the money put that doesn't expire for at least a couple of months. I see this as a possible three to five week sell off. It could take the better part of two months. So I would go three months out on that 220 out of the money put. I'm just kind of giving you the heads up right now. I don't expect to see that. We're not going to reach the 260s here over the next few days, but I'm just prompting you. Now, there's no need for prompting that if we close today below 232.59, because then I see um, the market likely over the next week or two to continue south to 208.86. So that is a meaningful sell signal. I think you can bottom pick away at 232.59, regardless of whether you're a day trader, three to five day or one to two week swing trader to the upside, anticipating as a two to three week swing trader, uh, 265.22 again. But if we close today below 232.59, no good reason to be long Tesla, I don't think, over the two to three week time horizon. In fact, you can play the short side. Uh, you could reach for 210 out of the money puts. If we close today below 232.59, you could reach for 210 out of the money puts that don't expire for at least a couple of weeks. Uh, and that would be the objective. And at 208.86, we just might bottom out through the balance of December and from here round back up to the channel structures here within three to five weeks of doing so. I don't see uh, this 175.26 level. And I'll take you back to... Uh, let's see, this um, this channel bottom, 175.62. There's also a 5 eighths downside longer term Fibonacci. This is a weekly chart, by the way, at 177 and a quarter. That's a significant zone of long term support able to contain quarterly selling pressures. And I don't expect to see that uh, unless, well, yeah, unless we actually close uh, below this 208.86 formation uh, over the next couple of weeks. And then we've got a three to five week sell off into what I would call the mid 170s. Now, uh, as we continue through time, and let's assume that 232.59 holds through next week and uh, we rally then uh, into the mid 260s. Once we test this 259.61 to 265.22 region, we then have a new channel bottom that is basically this trend line that I can see right now is probably in the low 180s. Do we have it? Do we show it anywhere? Um, I'm not sure. I'm looking through my charts right now and I do not see it. Um, yes, actually, I do. A 176.20. Uh, but, you know, yeah, it would be a different structure. So um, there's that. It would That's not even it. Sorry. It, we don't have this labeled, this trend line. But if we test 265.22 and it holds to the very tick, then this exact trend line becomes a new channel bottom that I would then envision as a possible two to three month downside objective. We could trade inside of this structure for the next few months, well into Q1. Unless, of course, we close above 265.22 over the next couple of weeks, then we have a significant long-term buy signal through Q1, and I'll be prompting you on that target if that were to occur. You know, I'm going to leave it at that. I see nothing else to say. Please click like, share, subscribe this material, and check out wickedstocks.com. There's a lot of good stuff, a great triple Q and spy trading opportunities every single day. The two most actively traded stock entities in the world, great for day trading, swing trading, and near-term investing. So check it out, wickedstocks.com. We offer a five-day free trial up front. You have a great weekend. I'll be back Sunday afternoon with Monday's Tesla.